Hello, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create to-do tasks from Microsoft Planner. And before we get started, just to let you know that I'm posting every week at the moment, so please subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss anything. Okay, so let me show you how this is useful. In this demo, I've got two people, Alex and Megan. And Alex is owning the plan. He's going to be creating the tasks in Planner. So here I am, logged in as Alex and I'm in my plan. I've got a bunch of different buckets here and in this Northwind partnership bucket, I'm going to add a new task. I'm going to call the task introduction video. Okay, so I've got a new task. Now I'm going to assign that task to Megan and I'm going to assign it to myself, Alex. So now there's two people assigned to the task. Now switching to Megan's to do app, I can see the assigned to me list is available to me. Now this can be controlled in the settings of the app. So if I go to the name at the top here and go settings, you can see I can switch the assigned to me connection on or off. If I switch it off and then go back, you'll see that the assigned to me is gone and then I can go and add it back in anytime I like. It takes a little while to refresh, but there it is. Now, these are all the tasks that have been assigned to me via Microsoft Planner. At the top here, you can see I've got a task called introduction video, and that maps directly to the one that I just assigned from the marketing campaigns plan. If I click on it, it's going to show me some information about it. I can open it in Planner if I want to, and I can see some overview information about that task, what plan it's in, who's assigned to it, and that kind of thing. So if I choose Open in Planner, it's going to open Planner up in the browser for me, and I can see the task. Now from To Do, I can also close the task. So if I choose the Complete button here or here on that task, I've closed the introduction video task down. Now. When I go back to the plan itself, you'll see that that introduction video task is now gone from Northwind Partnership Bucket, and it will be listed in here in the completed list. So you'll see then, as plan owner, I can create the task, I can assign it, and then the assignee can take care of closing it down for me. So it kind of does my housekeeping for me. Now, if this task was closed and I didn't want it to be, or it's closed in error, I can always open it up and then change the progress to not started or in progress. And that will put it back into the bucket Northwind Partnership. It will also put it back into the assignees to-do list. You can see back in the to-do app, logged in as Megan, that introduction video task is now added back to the assigned to me list. Now back in the plan, in my introduction video task, I have actually two assignees, so Megan and Alex. And when Megan completes it or Alex completes the task, it will shut the task down. Now, I might not want that to happen. It could be that I want Megan to do something and Alex to do something else. I don't want either of them to be able to close the task down until all the jobs are done. So the way to work around that is to open up the task and add some steps in this checklist. So say we had to record the video, edit the video, and publish the video. Now we've got a checklist of three items. And if I want to, I can also show those on the card. So now I've got my checklist of three, and if I switch to to do, I should see that updated. You can see the introduction video task has zero of three items in it. So if I click on it, you can see I've got the three items in the checklist I added. Once I've recorded the video, for example, I can just complete the item in the checklist rather than the whole task. And when I switch back to the plan, you can see that the record item has disappeared from the card. And when I open it, you can see that record has been ticked off. And one final tip here that I find useful is if you have tasks with checklists in them and you don't want to have to type out the checklist again every time for every single task, you can always copy the task by going up to the ellipsis here 
and if you click copy task it's going to ask you what you'd like to copy and where you'd like to copy it to so if you include the assignment and I'll just call that introduction video 2 and copy you can see I've got a second task here but it's got the checklist and the assignees already in place so it's a bit of a time saver there all right, so I hope that helps. That's a quick overview of how to create to-do tasks using Microsoft Planner. Thank you for watching, and if you like the videos, then please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.